we got a little uh, light here. This goes green. We'll give it some gas and see how it runs. Wow! <laughs> that thing, this thing runs good. <laughs> what do you think of that, Becky? Yeah, yeah. Man. Greetings automotive enthusiasts. Today we have for you a 2004 Ford Thunderbird. Check this car out. This is an 04 and this is a one year only color. Uh, I forget the color off the top of my head, uh, but uh, yeah, we'll have to- It's Merlot it with sand in, uh, interior and top. If you wanna go check out the name of this color, but it's beautiful color car. I'm gonna go ahead and do a walk around with the top up and then I will put the top down to do the rest of the video. We do have the matching hard top for this car. It's the same burgundy color car, uh, same burgundy color as the car. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And I think that the uh, hard top spent most of its life on the, on the car. I think basically they just put the hard top on and took the hard top off. If you look here, we've got some, uh, so we put it up and the, the top needs kind of some sun on it. Kind of needs to, it's kind of wrinkled up a little bit from being stowed so long. And we washed the car too. So there's a little bit of, like that's just kind of where it's dry and wet right there. Uh, but there is some, uh, when the top folds up, there is some kind of uh, discoloration and some kind of dirt uh, or whatever, you know, that happens when you fold the top up there. So there's some lines on that. We'll probably work on that a little bit, try to clean that up a little bit and, uh, and make those less pronounced. But anyway, we'll go ahead and do a walk around here, just kind of telling you about the top on it. And uh, this is a, it's a three owner car, clean title, 80,000 miles, just turned 80,000 miles on it. And it just runs and drives fantastic. Uh, no accidents on this car. Um, it, uh, it's got a uh, 3.9 liter V8 in it, 280 horsepower, uh, 286 foot pounds of torque. So it runs really good. It's really a Jaguar underneath the car. Um, you know, so shares a lot of the drivetrain and the platform with the Jaguar, then kind of made a cool uh, convertible out of it. So kind of a neat car here. Like I said, just kind of do the overall general walk around here first with the top up, and then I'll get into the detailed overview with the top down, but it just looks absolutely gorgeous. I love this color combination. And then the hard top, uh, you can go to the website to see uh, pictures of the car uh, with the hard top on. It's a two person operation to get that on and off. So uh, it's not something that I can just put on and off. We got that stored and covered at the uh, shop or whatever. So let's go ahead and put this top down and give you a tour of the car. All right, you can see that's just one touch operation. You got a manual latch for the header panel and then just one button and it goes down. So I kind of wanted to show you something here. So that's the real quick and easy. It only takes just a few seconds to drop your top. You can basically do it at a stoplight. And then here is how the, the top stows. And uh, and you can see, you know, why you get some dirt there or whatever. But uh, the cool thing is, is we have the little parade boot for this car too. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that because um, it really, uh, uh, dresses the car up and show you how it looks. The little prey boot uh, stows real cool here in the trunk. I guess I'll go ahead and give you the little overview of the trunk here while I got it up. And you can see how that just stows right here. Really cool, there's a little, little pocket for it. So it obviously is designed 
to stow that. So there is the parade boot right there. And then under here, I'm gonna lift this up for you, is our spare and our diehard battery here in the trunk. And it's nice, it's a regular tire on that. All right, I'll go ahead and install this boot and show you how it looks. All right, doesn't that look fantastic? It's really easy. You just take and you just tuck it in under the back right here. So you just kind of tilt it up like this. You just tuck it in, lay it down, and boom, boom, boom. Three snaps on each side, and this dude just stows away. Now, it's been rolled up in the trunk, so, you know, you got some little wrinkles there. Um, it'd probably smooth out if you left it on there for a little bit. But uh, anyway, it just it really gives the car a great finished look. What do you think? Looks cool, doesn't it? All right, well, let's start the overview of the car here real quick. Now, this car here, we haven't done anything to this car. We just washed it. Uh, no detailing, nothing. Um, didn't even touch under the hood or the trunk or anything. Just basically, I just washed it tonight and uh, and wiped it off with a rag. So it could, you know, benefit from a nice uh, paint correction from Van Gogh uh, if you want to make it really nice. But uh, they're kind of backed up with some of my other cars here, and I wanted to get this to you as soon as possible. So this is how we got the car. Um, one interesting note here. One thing that's notorious on these cars are the headlights. Uh, they they uh, turn, they yellow out and everything. And uh, this car is an 04 with 80,000 miles on it. So it has, you know, spent some time on the road, but the previous customer actually put brand new headlights in it. So kind of shows their care and love for the car. And if you look at the bumper cover here, really nice. You're gonna find a few, you know, minor, I gotta point out everything. There's just little minor imperfections here and there on the car that you would expect from a car of this age and miles. But you can see though, that it's in excellent condition. And I'd say it's above average, definitely for the miles. And the little Thunderbird is cool. I love the little mint green color in that there. Looks super cool. Uh, grill is nice. The fog lights are very clear. It just is a very nice, well-presenting car. Oh my, my nemesis here, uh, tag screw holes <laughs> I hate that so uh, the rest of this car is super nice so if a person wanted to you could maybe have the uh, front bumper redone and uh, fill those holes in and fix all the chips and I mean, I'm being picky but I'm saying the rest of the car is so nice if you redid the front bumper you could make it almost flawless but I mean really you're gonna get in this car probably and drive it and enjoy it and have some fun but headlights are brand new you can see the bumper it's really nice I honestly I wouldn't mess with that at all a uh, little scuff there but that'll buff right out I can't even feel it with my finger you can see a little bit of swirl in the paint there but that will buff out to a fine sheen trust me <laughs> those guys I mean anybody can do that I'm sure this car will probably uh, good chances it'll be bought by somebody out of town and ship out but find a good local detailer and they can you know and that way when you get the car because it's gonna get dirty on transport you get the car, get it detailed, get it buffed, and enjoy it. There's our little V8 call out. Checking out our chrome wheels here. They are in immaculate condition. Super nice. We got a nice general tire with full tread depth. Super nice there. Looking down the side of the car. There, literally, I don't think is a, there's no door dings on this side anyway. We'll check all the sides, obviously but super nice. I'll go ahead and give you a little shot underneath here. And it is just immaculate condition. Dry as a bone. There's not a speck of rust on this car. Look at that. Just beautiful. Not even hardly any rock chips behind there. Still got some water spots on there, but excellent. Now, one thing that kind of surprises me about this car the windshield, there's a couple little teeny pits in it, but this, the clarity of this windshield is fantastic and that's an original windshield. But I mean, it is a really nice windshield. Hardly any pits, hardly any issues, no hail on the car, no dents or dings or anything like that. Even the uh, mirror covers, 
Usually they get some pits and rock chips on them, but super nice. You got your little chrome header bow there. Cover, it's really nice. Again, some water spots on it. See around the door handle. Not, not all scratched up. Really nice around the door handle. There's one scratch right here. Uh, I'm guessing somebody probably did that. Putting the hard top on and off, probably. It's kind of heavy, so probably had a little bit of an issue there. Rear wheel is nice. Here is the rear tires. You can see that they are in excellent condition. Tires, here's the date code. Looks like they're from 18. So lots of serviceability left in these tires. Looking across the deck lid. Just, I mean, just light. I mean, 99% of everything on this car will buff out. Third brake light. I've seen these rear tail lights chalky too. He didn't say anything about replacing them, but uh, so I think they're original. There's one little crack right there I just noticed on the tail light. A little cosmetic crack there, but it's sealed up nice. Even down here, it is nice. Coming across the back, a few little light scratches across the back. Super clean. Right tail light is really nice. Looking across the deck lid from this angle, and don't see any major flaws in it. And I'm just impressed how clean this car is. Looking down the right side from this angle, I don't see a ding in it. Super nice. These wheels too are literally, I think they're almost immaculate. I hate to say that. I'm sure I could probably find some flaw in there, but just not seeing it. Here it is, the door handle here. Mirror cover is nice. Chrome across the windshield is nice. Let's look down the side this way. Now I see one tiny ding in front of the door handle. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. That's why you gotta get all the angles. Uh, again, just being super picky, but you can see where that lift post is. Right where that Chevelle is. One tiny ding, no paint damage. So very easy. Here's the DeLorean. <laughs> very easy to PDR that ding, should you feel so inclined. And as you can see, as we've made 360 around this car, it's a nice enough car that a person could make it nearly flawless. And it's a beautiful car. All right, let's go ahead and pop the hood and give you a tour under the hood. All right, we got the hood popped here on the Thunderbird. Check it out, look, the hood pad is super nice. Here's our emission sticker. And it is applicable to California. And hood pad is nice. I haven't, like I said, I didn't even clean underneath this hood. The hood pad's a little dusty, but check out underneath the, engine bay here not much to see on these it's a 3.9 liter v8 but just the condition that there's our fin stickers on our fender shows you original parts on that and there is the fin sticker on the hood so check it out underneath here it is just absolutely immaculate in there here Freshly serviced, ready to go. Very nice. Go ahead and drop the hood here and show you the interior. All right, this is what just looks, really sets this car off, is this beige interior to go along with this burgundy paint. It's just such a beautiful color combination. So I'll go ahead and show you the door panel. No flaws on the door panel. I don't know, maybe a little scuff right there, but for the most part, it is perfect. 
There's our trunk release button down there. Window switches, there's not even any wear on that. Teeny bit of chrome peeling on the door handle. But, I mean, you're never even gonna notice that, but I'm gonna call it out. If I notice it, I'm gonna show you. Here is the VIN tag. And you can see the jams of this car are just wonderful, other than a little bit of water, probably from when I washed it. Just washed on the outside, kind of splashes in. Let's show you this seat here in absolutely impeccable condition. And I'll get kind of close here. I mean, there's some of the typical wrinkles that you see, but look at that. Not even any color wear on them bolsters. Super nice. Coming over here, see the color matching steering wheel, steering wheel and shift knob. I'll show you the carpets here. Got the floor mats. I didn't even pack in this car. Actually, I got one of my stupid wet footprints right there. But, uh, and then here is the carpet underneath. Makes a little bit of dust, but this thing is absolutely immaculate. There's all our switches and our switch gear, tilt and telescoping steering wheel. There's our traction control button right there. Dash is in perfect condition. Steering wheel is super nice. Again, I love that mint green Thunderbird. There's our steering wheel. And I'll go ahead and jump in and fire up the gauge cluster for you. All right, strapped, or not strapped in, but sitting in. Go ahead and fire it up here for you. There it is. 8,272 miles. Seat belt lights just so I don't have my seat belt on. But you can kind of check that out. And then the center of the shifter, all your center stack, all the lights work. Heated seats on this car. Very, very nice car. All right, over on the passenger side, again, door handle is pretty, or door panel pretty much perfect. Chrome is good on the handle. Has a really nice audio system in the car too, by the way, forgot to mention that. But I'd love that uh, little aluminum machine looking finish on the trim there. Kind of harkens back to the original baby bird. Passenger seat is fantastic. Threshold is nice. Not even hardly any booths, guts, cuffs, or anything like that. It's nice, we got some nice floor mats in here. And again, the carpets underneath are perfect. Open this up here and we have the original owner's manual in the car. And also the tool for the hard top is in there also. There's a little like a Torx that you uh, use to unscrew the front uh, connection of the hard top. Looking down the center console, super nice. And here is our little cubby hole. And look at the armrest there. Super nice shape. Oh, this is really cool. I love the little curved back here and we got the speakers in behind you. Pretty neat. And we got our dual vanity mirrors. The visors are in super nice shape. So let's go ahead and jump in this car and take you for a ride. All right, we're strapped into the Thunderbird. This actually does have traction control, which it actually needs because uh, it's got some pretty good power. But first and foremost, got to say congrats to our world champion Super Bowl winning Kansas City Chiefs. Woo! Yeah, Becky, we got our Chiefs stuff on today. Look, yep, got to support the Chiefs. I got Miss Eurasian Becky with me today yep. on the Thunderbird. So let's roll out. How about them Chiefs? <laughs> oh, man. A little bit excited about them winning the Super Bowl. Oh, here. yeah. You know, and any Philadelphia fans out there, hey, you guys played an awesome game. And, uh, you know, man, my uh, hat's off to your team there. First class. I just, I mean, watching the interviews and stuff, post game and everything. And, uh, man, what a, what a classy group of players. It's nice to see a Super Bowl there where you got, you know, just two really, really good teams. It's almost uh, sad that somebody has to win and somebody has to lose, but that's why you play the game. It was a really good game. It I mean, it was awesome. We were a little bit scared there. Yeah, we were Becky. scared. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, rolling off in the Thunderbird. This, so this Thunderbird, uh, we've had how many of these have we had, Becky? Hmm. Four. Good this question. would be our fourth or fifth one. Probably our fifth one, I think. Hmm. 
We've had quite a few of these. These are a lot of fun. These are a lot of a lot of bang for the buck. But this one here was traded in to me uh, on actually our Model A pickup from a, uh, a gentleman up in Northeast Kansas. So he'd said he'd been looking for a pickup for years. And uh, so he got that. And then uh, this is a you know one year only color. Really nice Thunderbird. I love the color scheme that Burgundy with the tan top and, uh, and all that. So just a beautiful car. So I was like, heck yeah, I love these cars. So uh, he traded that in. But uh, so as far as driving the car goes, I mean, there are literally no issues with this car. It runs and drives absolutely perfect. Um, you saw in the walk around the excellent condition of the car. And there are just literally zero issues drivability with this car. Um, 80,270 miles on it. Uh, it just, it's just a really, really nice driver. Um, so, I mean, yeah, everything works perfect. Windows, top. Uh, cruise control. I mean, everything on the car works great. There's no rattles to the car or anything like that. So we got a little uh, light here. This goes green. We'll give it some gas and see how it runs. Wow. <laughs> that thing, this thing runs good. <laughs> what do you think of that, Becky? Yeah. Man. Man. These cars are, you know, it's based off a, a Jaguar platform. It's got that, uh, V8 in it, you know, so it's definitely a, a, a good solid uh, drivetrain on this car. But like I said, it just goes down the road. It's got the tires on it are like new and it just tracks perfectly straight. No, no rattles. Sometimes these things can have a little bit of rattle or whatever when you hit bumps, but I mean, there are literally like no rattles in this car or anything like that. So there are some of these out there that are kind of ratty, but this is not, <clears throat> this is not one of them. But like I said, it just literally runs and drives excellent without issue so not a whole lot not a whole lot to to comment on it sorry i got <laughs> allergies in my throat there a little bit so normally we'd like to do a top down uh, on the test drive but it's a little chilly here what was the high today it was like, happening today not I don't happening even today think it broke freezing no like 33 i think was the high today with a wind chill that was down into the probably yeah. teens or 20s but you know, I really love the things that, you know, why, why do we buy these cars? Well, these cars, you know, it's a retro style bird and uh, really love it. It's just a really, um, you know, they did a really cool job of designing and, 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 you know, it was kind of a, you know, they sold a lot of them, as, but they, I don't know, they kind of considered it a failure, but some of the best cool enthusiast cars after the fact are the ones that kind of didn't sell as well new. But when you think about it though, when you do a retro design, you do a design, but you're retro. You're designing off of really that first 55 to 57 Thunderbird. So you know, so you really it's kind of a one and done deal because what can you really do after that? You know, you can't you can't really change it. You know, because I mean, uh, you know, and then the Thunderbird itself evolved into a completely different car. You know, a big two plus you know two big touring you know coupe, and even even ended up in being a four door at times. So. So, you know, it was kind of a one and done thing, but but these cars, I mean, they, they you know, they're great because they, they're really expensive new, but they've depreciated down. And uh, so really there's, they're actually I've started noticing some of them uh, starting to climb. So this is a car, I mean, it's as cheap as it's ever gonna be. It's only gonna go up in value. Find a nice example and you can literally have a wonderful car to have fun, do whatever you wanna do, and you're never gonna lose money on this car, so. Um, you know, that's what I love about them. I love the styling. They're very comfortable, but yet they got all the creature comforts that you could that you could want in a touring convertible. So, um, you know, that's why we love these cars. They're just they're, they're just a lot of bang for the buck. So, well, I appreciate you riding along with us. I hope you enjoyed this uh, overview of this Thunderbird. And uh, so if you would hit that like and subscribe button, we really appreciate that. Um, you know, it's just fun to see people enjoy the channel and, and enjoy what we're doing. And, and then hit that notifications button. That way, if we ever get a, when, when we load up new cars, you'll get a notification. You'll be one of the first to uh, be notified because you never know when we might find your next dream car. Have a great day and happy motoring. Yeah. <laughs>it's dark since I've uh, left uh, for this video so just a real quick little throw in here uh, it's showing you the it's telling you how cool the, the lighting is in here I don't know I like these it kind of feels kind of 80s to me almost you know just kind of that incandescent kind of that glow <laughs> so anyway 
thought I would. I just got in the car and I was like, hey, here's the, the thing I was telling you about. And then the other thing you'll notice too, it's a really good job. I mean, you've seen it in the video, obviously, but aftermarket tent on this car and somebody did a really, really good job on it. You're gonna really appreciate that in the summertime. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video.